Hello guys, um, today I will talk about my story as a Chungnam Science High School student. First, let me know, uh, let me introduce my middle school life. Um, well, uh, now I am a Chungnam Science High School student, but I didn't think that would be because I was not very interested in science and math. I was interested in other areas. The first area was English. Uh, these pictures uh, are my English flashcards that I used to study with. And I, every day I made this card and uh, tried to memorize the words on it. But this is just one example of my efforts to study English. I really tried hard to improve my English skills. And thanks to my efforts, uh, I won many prizes, many prizes at the English competitions. And I also had an opportunity to uh, be a host of Asian English Festival. And that's me, and this is my name of pamphlet. So, as you see, uh, my middle school life was full of English, and I was also known as a great speaker. So, I participated in a lot of speech contests. And this is one example. This is a contest, and I won the first prize at this competition. So, at this point, me, so why did you go to the Chunnam Science High School? Why, why, why Science High School? So, now I'm going to answer the question from now on. Okay, one day, uh, maybe that was my second summer vacation of my middle school. I visited an Oriental Clinic, Oriental Medicine Clinic, and I met this doctor, and I had a really, really unpredictable response from the doctor. He said, you should major in the natural science. So in Korean, <laughs> And I was, I was in the panic, so, what? Are you serious? I never studied science or math before, so, if I say one word, uh, if I say my feeling in one word, that would be this. <laughs> Maybe you guys all know all this word. It means, it is a, it's just a strong meaning of oh my god. So, I was in a panic and I didn't know what to do. And, but as time went by, I started to, uh, I started to study math because I wanted to determine if he was right or wrong. So, since then I started to study math and science. And surprisingly, I, again, I was very interested in science and math. So, and more surprisingly, my grade at school was improved. So, finally, I decided to go to the Chunnam Science High School. It was just one year. In just one year, my academic goals had changed. And now I'm focused on, I'm extremely focused on math and science. Uh, but after I entered the school, I, I felt regret for my middle school days. I mean, they were young girls, but they were still young girls. They were still young girls. They were still young girls. Why are you so English? But they were young girls, and they were young girls. So, but one day, so I was really sad at the time, but one day I watched Steve Jobs Denver address. Uh, I think Ian Ju, you introduced this. But, but I, I watched this uh, at the uh, first uh, first uh, certification. Yeah, me. So I heard really amazing words there. All the dots of your life will be connected to each other. They are all necessary. So, something really cool came to my mind. If he was right, if he was just what he said was true, my middle school day will be necessary. Would be necessary. So, I think something really cool that was my middle school dog connects to my high school dog. And I imagine, if all these dots are connected, 
So what picture would be drawn? I mean, what, what picture do I want to draw in the future? That was global science leader. I think, uh, I think you guys will know the reason, because I study English, and there are many reasons. Okay, then from now on, I will introduce why I imagine this work, and what I try to uh, connect the dots and make this work. So first, science leader. To be a science leader, what did I do? Um, as I told you before, I participated in a lot of speech contests. So, first, English speech contest, a debate competition, or Unbel contest. And these dots really helped me to make research presentation, good research presentation. They were connected. <laughs> so, like this, I'm really, I have been trying to connect their dots and make this word science leader. But I wanted to add the global to this word. To be a global leader, what I have to do? I need to, I need to do something different from other students. Uh, this is the English newspaper, The Times, which I, which I published in my first school days. And after I entered the school, I wanted to continue my working in the English newspaper club, so I entered an English newspaper club named Unique, and I made newspapers in their club. So, uh, so this uh, newspaper is the Unique, and I'm the leader of this club. And so, the Pines and the Unique was connected. Next, uh, as I told you, I studied English, and, and my English ability really helped me study science. Because uh, sometimes I have to refer to other some foreign foreign researchers or books written in English. Then my English ability really helped me to do that, to do some that things more easily than other students. So English ability and studying science was connected. And uh, I, I draw a dot for English, English speech in my middle school days. And now this dot is being connected to this text speaker. So actually, uh, uh, when I was in elementary school, I, read, I watched a lot of TEDx talks, TEDx talks. And it was my dream to be a speaker of this TEDx stage. So I, I didn't know, I, I didn't expect that the moment comes so soon. So I'm really happy right now, and they're connected. So uh, yeah. So like this, uh, I've been trying to take my experiences or thoughts and connect them to the global science leader. So now I ask you. Um, what have you done in the past? What did you do yesterday? And what are you doing today? And what will you do tomorrow? All these experiences, especially for me and especially for you guys, all these experiences are thoughts that you have drawn and will draw on your own paper. So, I want to say that you guys should draw many dots. If you might think that is, they are unnecessary, but in my experiences, they were not, they, they would be. They must not be unnecessary. Must not be unnecessary. So I want to say that you guys should draw, draw many dots and connect them, try to connect them, then you will make your dream come true. And today, uh, I'd like to say that this one more dot plus canvas presentation to be a global science leader.